And now the Shift 2 just became a Cosmo 125. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. A few months ago when I was at ISPO, I was looking for Razor Skates booth. Razor didn't have a booth this year, but I met the main guy from Razor's Europe. His name is Marco. And I wanted Marco to talk a little bit about the newest skate from Razor's, the Razor's Shift for this channel, but he didn't have a skate with him and he told me, don't you want to try the skates? I can send you a pair and then if you want you can make a video, if you don't you don't, but you can at least try the skates. So that's what we're going to do today. Because I'm in Europe, I got this pair. These are the Razor's Shift 2. Here, let me just put the box on. And here they are. I actually love the colors. Mainly black, black wheels, black frame, black shell boot, black cuff, black buckles, black and a little bit of gray liner and gray sole plate. The main thing about these skates, it's the system that they have for you to change the frames in a second. Basically, there's two little buttons under here and there's some screws. This is not really an unboxing because I opened the box before and I took off the screws. I'm gonna try to change the frame in a few moments. But before that, I wanna go a little bit through the skate. Starting from the top, the liner, Ryan liner. Ryan used to be a brand that was owned by the guys that also owned razors and they still own it. The company Ryan was was slipping, I would say. They just made the rebirth of Ryan and they actually have a super sick team. They, they announced Bobby Spasov, they announced Joe Sank, Derek Anderson and of course Alex Bernstein. So they have a super sick team. Ah, they, I think they announced someone else. Who was it? So, the liner. Okay, I'm gonna take the liner out of the skate. So, the liner on the side here it says slim fit i've never tried this liner so i can't really give you feedback but it seems like the name says slim the material on the inside it's not really lycra like the ones that i'm used to not not that the my fits are lycra but are a different material but these ones it's just different i don't really know how to explain the type of material that this is but i can tell you that it has laces which is a super cool thing on liners and I can tell you that it seems like it's not too padded which I already said before that's the type of liners that I like for aggressive skating until now it seems cool now because I don't have the liners I can show you something which seems to be really cool too I'm not really a gap fan but this <laughs> this is huge this is a shock absorber and it comes underneath these little plastic insole. So I'm just gonna put this back, back with a liner, and that's it. Something really cool. Super basic for some of you guys, but it's really, really important when it comes to inline skates, the laces. These skates come with, I would even say that these are double wax laces. They seem like really cool. Yeah, that's it. The laces are a little bit thicker than normal, which is also nice because it stays tight on the lace loops here on the boot. When you look from the top, when you look from the top, this boot kind of reminds me of the cult. So it seems like it's a really slim boot. Even the cuff reminds me of the cult. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not. I haven't tried it, so I can't really say much about it. Super regular buckle, just the normal one that comes on any other Razor skate before going to the sole plate. The frame is actually cool. So these are the Featherlight trees. And for those of you that don't know, the Featherlight trees was actually, I would say, the best update that 
that ground control did because the, the previous version from the Featherlight was a little bit softer. Some people used to love that feeling, especially skating on ledges. But for me, I always felt that like the ground controls were a little bit too soft. So on tricks like backslides and stuff like that, I felt that it was harder for me. I would rather have like a slower backslide plate than a slower frame. So having a, a softer frame wasn't the best. Now that this frame is harder, I haven't tried it on this skate, but the time that I tried the Featherlight 3, I felt better than I felt with the Featherlight 2. Also, the Featherlight frame has a little system. You only need to tighten one side of the screw. The other side has a little shape. And with the previous version, if you would tighten it too much, well, you would damage the frame. With this version, that seems to be sorted because it's a little bit harder, so it's harder to, for that to happen too. Then, just like a regular UFS frame, you have one screw in front, one screw in the back. It goes straight to the sole plate. These ones come with 62 millimeter wheels, which is actually a cool size. Ground control, 62 millimeter wheels. The profile of the wheel is like a little, it's a flat profile. Basically the top of the wheel is flat, which is usually better for stability. That's the type of wheels that you want for gaps and stuff like that. Again, I'm not the biggest gap fan. And I haven't been skating anti-rocker for a while. Skating anti-rocker, I kind of feel like the skates are super, super hard to turn. And if you skate with flat wheels, you even feel it a little bit more. It comes with anti-rockers, like the plastic anti-rockers from Ground Control. And that's it. Now, the super unique feature about this skate is this. There's two buttons here. One, two. Not really buttons. But these two things that you can just press. Okay. One. It's just... And then you take one of the sides of the slow plate. And then here, you're up. And... That's it. Now check this out. That's the cool thing. The guys from Razors know that I like to skate with big wheels. So what did they do? Well, they also sent me these tri skate sole plate and frame. These are the Cosmo sole plates. They have a skate which is not called the Shift, which is called the Cosmo, and it comes with a different sole plate. It's not really a. It's, Probably you wouldn't call it the sole plate because it's not for grind, it's mainly like a support base for the frame. So let me try to put it on. Opa. I'm just not good at this. Okay, this side seems to be cool. And on this side, one side is on, the other side is also. You should actually put the front first, right? If anyone watching these also have these skates, must be thinking that guy just so dumb. Because this is supposed to be a lot easier, and I know it is easier. Damn it! Something that you should know is that this would be a lot easier if you have the skate on top of something that you can actually put some pressure on. I don't have that place right now, so. Is it good? Okay. And now, the Shift 2 just became a Cosmo 125. It took a little bit longer because I wasn't used to it. But let me try it again. Let me try to do it faster. Okay. One out. The other one is out. Frame one out. Now let me try to put it in. Let's see if it's actually faster. I really believe it's just me. Huh? Okay. One side, front part you do it first. faster but still fell on my feet I'm just not used to it taking it out it became really easy Check. one two I'm gonna give it a third try let's just make the test with the aggressive skate okay. aggressive skate it's on here one Two. 
the grass is skate is actually super fast don't really make any judgment just because I took a little bit longer it's actually me so I guess that's it I'll be skating them soon and if you want to see me skating these skates from razors the shift 2s and Cosmos 125s if you want to see how I skate them and if you want to hear my opinion about them after skating them well subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed to the channel yet that's what you need to do there's a little bell on the side if you click on that bell you'll get notifications every time I upload one of these and you'll know when there's a review about this skate other than that if you like this video do not forget to give me some thumbs up if you didn't like it well you can give me some thumbs down but do not forget to let me know why you're giving me thumbs down and more important than anything else just don't forget why we all started skating and that is because it's fun cheers guys and see you soon